guys, it's Julia, and today in this video, I have this Dell laptop, which I'm sure you guys have seen in a, a video a few months ago, saying that it needs to be reinstalled, in which it actually, I've not even done it yet, which is really funny, because it's like several months later, and I've not reinstalled it. But, basically, this is um, the Dell laptop that, let me see if you guys can guess why this thing needs a reinstall, if you've not seen the video. Yes, this is the laptop that will refuse to install Windows updates. Um, it is a very fresh install. I have barely have used it. I got it to update all the way, and then later, it, it just keeps checking for updates forever and never finds anything. So, it's, it's however, it will install Windows Microsoft Security Essential updates. So it's like the only thing it will do. Go to Windows Update. It'll be all reset and stuff. See? And this is still downloading something else now. And installing. So it does that. And then you check for updates. It never finds a single thing. So. This computer probably has nothing in the history. It has one update. When I was attempting to try to get it to work by downloading some updates. But yeah, this computer is really weird. I mean, it works, but it won't update. It's like Microsoft broke their update system when I reinstalled Windows 7 on this laptop. Um, because I have on um, Windows 7 and Windows 10 on it. It basically, um, wouldn't update either. It just well, it updated at first, and then it wouldn't. I did all these tools, and I finally got it to work. And then if two days ago, it w or a few days ago on Patch Tuesday, it wouldn't update again. And eventually, after three, four hours, I got it to update. And I even ran a, a special thing on it to try to find corruption, and it found corruption. And then later on, Windows Update, the next day, was offering me the System Update Readiness tool. And I'm like, oh gosh, I, it's obviously something's not right. It, it, it said it was being offered due to problems, and basically. And it did fix them. It took like 10 minutes to install. Um, so yeah, this is just a computer. It's even got the Windows 10 icon. It also has an issue with it won't charge either. The battery will not charge. It says 0% plugged in, not charging. In fact, I couldn't even get this computer to even turn on like two weeks ago. It, it wouldn't even come on. I'd plug it in, push power button, and absolutely nothing would happen. So I happened to try it again, and I plugged it in. I left it, let, it, let it sit for a few minutes and tried it, and it worked, except it still, it's not charging, but at least it's running. And another weird thing that this computer did is if I go to the start menu here, there's a few things like Solitaire, for example. I never even played Solitaire um, on this computer. In fact, I don't even know how to play. Um, remote Desktop and just all these random things like Media Center and Things I've never even opened before. It's like really weird. This computer is just putting random things there. It's like mysterious. It's like weird. I don't understand why it's why it's doing that. But it is. It's doing that too. It's putting things I've never even opened there. Or at least not opened on this installation of Windows. Oh, it says potentially unprotected. However, it updated. It looks like. So that's good, but this won't update. So basically, this is just the computer that won't update. It has Windows XP as well as in a um, dual boot, but I hardly ever go on it. Um, I think I'm just gonna reinstall Windows 7 now for real this time because I cannot get it to update. It's so weird. Like I don't understand why this computer refuses to, to find updates. Maybe I think, I think I'm going to run that command to find corruption. I think it's going to find something too. So I'm going to do that. And I'll put in the description of this video what happens. But I guess thanks for watching for now. I mean, this computer is just, I mean, it's not, you can see even getting started is all the way up there. Never opened it. But of course, 
pretty much everything on here I've not even opened, except obviously C Cleaner, maybe the Event Viewer, and maybe Sticky Notes, but that's it, that's like the only things I've opened. I haven't opened any of this other stuff, so really odd. Yeah, I'm working on a virtual machine, putting Windows 10 on a Windows 8 virtual machine right now for, I think, a future video. So you guys would be quite interested. It's a future video I'm going to be doing. So yeah. So as you can see, this is just not working, but I'll leave stuff in the description when I do stuff to this, maybe to see if I can find corruption. I just have to find the command. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, and bye-bye for now, and if you have any other ways to get this thing to update without reinstalling, let me know, because I just tried all these Windows update tools, they're not working, so. Tried installing updates, I've tried resetting Windows update. Um, those are the things I mainly have tried, that's about it. Um, anything else, let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.